Hi, my name is Chris and thank you for choosing Lightspeed Voice. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basic functions of the Yalink T46G phone. I'll review important features such as transferring, setting up conference calls, and more. Before setting up your Yalink phone, it's important that you use the power supply that comes with it, even if you have another Yalink phone that you're replacing. This is because using a different power supply will void the warranty. You'll find the power supply port on the back of the phone, along with two Ethernet ports. The LAN port is for plugging the internet connection directly into the phone. If you plan to daisy chain the phone, running the internet connection from your phone to your computer, you'll also need to use the PC port. Remember to connect the ethernet cord from your modem, router, or switch to the LAN port. And if you'd like, you can connect another ethernet cord from the PC port to your computer for internet access. We'll quickly just go over everything on the front of the phone here. We have your handset on the left with your number pad in the bottom left. On the left side of your screen, you have your line keys. The one in the upper left will be your extension. On this phone, it's 108. Below that are calls that you would have on hold. In the upper right is your park key. If you're on a call and you push that button to put it on park, it'll go into these parking spaces. Along the bottom, you have your soft keys, which will change depending on what you're doing on the phone. Below that, we have arrows with an OK button, which is like enter, and the arrows are used to navigate on the screen. The X is like back or exit. And below that, you have your volume control, which is for in-call and ringer volume. On the bottom right side of the phone, we have headset, mute, message, hold, redial, transfer, and speakerphone. In the upper right, if this little light here was red, that means you have a message in your voice mailbox. There's two places to access voicemail on your phone. The general voicemail button on the screen and the personal voicemail button on the bottom right of the phone. Once you choose one of these voicemail boxes, you'll hear a prompt asking for password. password. If this is your first time using your voicemail, your password will be the same as your extension number. For example, 108. You'll be guided through setting up your voicemail, including creating an unavailable message and changing your password. If you don't change your password during the setup, you'll be asked to do the setup again the next time you access your voicemail. To view your contacts, simply access the directory. All contacts you have saved will be displayed here. If you haven't saved any yet, you can easily do so by clicking Add. The hold button on your phone looks like a pause symbol. When you press it during a call, your caller will hear hold music. You can resume your call by pressing the hold button again. If you need to put your current call on hold to take another call, you can pick up the original call again using the buttons on the left side of your screen. The buttons at the bottom of your screen, the soft keys, will keep changing depending on what you're doing. When your phone is not in use, they will show history, directory, D&D, &D, and menu. When you navigate through the menus, the leftmost button will act as your back or exit button. Alternatively, you can use the X button located below the arrow buttons to exit. To move around, use these arrow buttons located right below the screen. The center button labeled OK will select the button that you have highlighted. To adjust the volume on your phone, look for the plus and minus buttons located below the navigation buttons. These buttons control the ringer and call volume. If your phone is ringing or idle, pressing these buttons will increase the volume, while the minus button will decrease it. During an active call, use these buttons to adjust the in-call volume. On the bottom right is a speakerphone button. Pressing this button when not on a call will enable you to hear a dial tone and make an outgoing call using the speakerphone. If you're on a call using the handset and want to switch the speakerphone, press the button to switch over. You can press it again to switch back. When you click History, you'll see a screen that displays all your recent calls, whether they were incoming or outgoing. By scrolling left or right, you can access different menus such as received or missed. 
To transfer a call to another extension, look for the transfer button, which is represented by a phone pointing to another phone at the bottom right corner of your Yanlink, or the transfer soft key on your screen. For a cold or blind transfer, dial transfer, followed by the extension number, and then press transfer. This will send the call directly to their extension. If you prefer a warm or attended transfer, dial transfer, followed by the extension, and then press send or pound. This will create a call between you and the receiving extension, allowing you to talk to them before transferring the call. To transfer that call, press transfer again when you're ready. To add another person to your call, simply dial conference on your screen, followed by the number of the person that you want to add, and then send. You'll speak to the new person before adding them to the call. Press conference again to bring everyone together. Once you initiate a conference call, you can leave the call and the remaining parties will continue on the line. The first button in your upper right is your park function. Park is similar to a waiting room. If you're on call and you press park, the other side of the call will hear hold music and they'll also be placed in the first available parking spot, which is normally the next button down, usually labeled P9001. The parking spot will turn red, meaning it's in use on everyone's phone in the office, and anyone can press that button to pick up the call. Park can be used in any way you'd like, but is often used as an indirect way of transferring a call. The following two buttons down are your additional parking spaces, P9002 and P9003. Callers will be placed here if the first spot is already in use. To access the direct dial extensions for your office, click the button located below your parking spaces. This will lead to the next page of BLF buttons. These extensions will be displayed on page 2 in numerical order, excluding your own extension, which will already be on the upper left corner of page 1. The color of the button indicates the status of the line. Green means an open line, while red signifies a call is in progress. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our video on the Yale Link T46G. If you haven't yet become a Lightspeed Voice user, please reach out to us at 877-97-VOICE or email info at lightspeedvoice.com to learn more about our business phone and automation tools. Discover why we're known for being more than just talk.